practiced law in Tucson for the last 40 years, um, primarily in the area of corporate law and securities laws. Um, I have been involved in a variety of different community activities, uh, economic development, um, uh, and um, also I'm an adjunct professor at the Rogers College of Law. I see Tucson at a very exciting time, sort of a confluence of, of circumstances and events that make it ripe for increased entrepreneurship and innovation. Um, to me, this is very positive and very important because it'll add to an economy that thus far has been very fragile and unstable and create sustainable, strong, well-paying jobs for a broad cross-section of our community. We have tremendous ideas coming out of the University of Arizona. Um, we've got talent, we've got people. This is a necessary ingredient. Um, certainly the, the University of Arizona produces the scientists and uh, the, the business graduates, the finance graduates that are so critical to creating an entrepreneurial economy. But you also need the, the legal profession involved. Um, we've got a very uh, forward-looking law school that is focusing on providing law students, providing the future lawyers with the skills they need to help grow a strong entrepreneurial economy. It takes, obviously, an idea, a product, a service that's scalable, um, that has the ability to expand and um, deliver services and products outside of the community and bring money in. Uh, you need a, co a committed uh, found founder base um, and you need money. Um, and that's, that's always an, a critical piece. Uh, the investment capital it takes to start up and grow the early stage companies. Um, these are all critical, but they're, they're evolving, they're moving forward, and we've, we've seen some major advances in our community in the past few years. The most critical, critical piece in, in my mind is, is keeping the university strong, um, encouraging students to uh, go into the sciences, uh, encouraging them to go into business and finance, encouraging them to go into business law. These are all really important to, to creating a strong, stable, entrepreneurial economy. Watching the interaction between the legal professional and the business professional, um, finding ways to make that relationship work even smoother, um, that's been very fulfilling. Uh, I think idea funding, um, which is an annual event that uh, has gone on for the last 16 years, which is designed to bring the entrepreneurial community together with the investment community um, to try and stimulate startup and growth and investment in early stage companies. That's certainly something that uh, uh, has been important to me and, and I think important to the community. Uh, I think finally just um, the opportunity to work with uh, the broad cross-section of, of the community, um, the opportunity to work at, uh, with the uh, Arizona Center for Innovation, which is so critical, critical to our, to our future. This is the, uh, the incubation for the companies that are going to become our major employers uh, for years to come. The faculty at the university represents uh, an idea factory. Um, these are where our future companies are going to go. Um, and at times it may appear daunting to the faculty member about how do, how do I go from the classroom into the marketplace. Um, again, patience, um, understanding, and um, a, a recognition that, that there are resources out there um, and there are um, paths available that will make that process easier. This is one of the positive things that I see happening at the University of Arizona, the new Tech Launch Arizona, which is designed to make it user-friendly, to make it easier for the faculty member with an idea, with a passion, uh, to move it forward uh, into a, a real, living, breathing, uh, exciting company. I see my role in this process as um, a loyal soldier who recognizes that we're um, we've got a goal, a very important and very positive role, and I'm going to do what I can to achieve that goal. Um, and uh, I want to be a patriot for Tucson and a patriot for our solid, strong, sustainable economy. Well, you've got to be a, a little bit of Don Quixote, a little bit of Abraham Lincoln.